Does it look like I'm wearing a script top? Because I am. Hi everyone. It's September and I still haven't finished doing all of the picky eater reviews from all of my table service uh, reservations from a trip back in February. So just to recap what restaurants I ate at in February, there was dinner at Le Cellier in the Canada Pavilion at Epcot, Cinderella's Royal Table for a lunch in Magic Kingdom, dinner at San Angel Inn restaurant which is in the Mexico Pavilion at Epcot, and today I'm doing the Picky Eaters review for my reservation that I had at Tiffin's, which is in Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Oh, Tiffin's. Okay, wait, let me back up. Let me remind you that I rarely do table service reservations because I'm primarily at Disney World with my kids and they're picky, sometimes pickier than I am about food. So there really is never a point in doing reservations because both of my kids kind of have this limited set of items that they will or will not eat. And there's just no point in me making these reservations when they probably aren't going to eat the food at whatever place that I go to. Even the sci-fi dine-in theater reservation we had was pushing it for them, but they ate most of their food there, so it worked out okay. Okay, so for this trip that was this past February, it was just me and one of my best friends, Cynthia, and so since it was just adults only, we decided to do several dining reservations at table service restaurants. And since I'm a picky eater and I don't like to eat vegetables and things like that, this was an eye-opener for me. But it was also exciting because I was able to eat at several table service restaurants that I'd never eaten at before. Okay, so if memory serves me correctly, and it might not serve me correctly, we had an early dinner reservation at Tiffin's. We did the Rivers of Light dinner package because neither one of us had seen Rivers of Light yet, and it was kind of still fairly new. It hadn't been a year yet, I don't think, at that time. So we wanted to be able to have a good seat and be able to see the show, so we went ahead and did the dinner package. We did arrive about 20 minutes early for this reservation, which is kind of much, but we were both just tired and we had nothing else going on, and we were just kind of like, let's just go early. We can sit and have a drink or something while we wait, which is exactly what we did. Luckily, the Nomad Lounge is connected right there next to Tiffin's, and so we sat at the bar and had a drink while we waited. I actually loved the Nomad Lounge. The atmosphere was awesome. It was actually pretty busy in there, but it wasn't very loud for as many people that were in there um, having a good time. I loved the decor. I just loved everything about this place. There was a lot of cool things going on here. I ended up having a drink called the Tempting Tigress. I couldn't tell you what was in it. I didn't look it up either, but it was pretty good. It actually was so nice to be able to sit and relax there at the Nomad Lounge while we're waiting. Um, I definitely need to go there again. And on a side note, they actually have like a small menu of like appetizers at the Nomad Lounge. But it's stuff like sliders and fish tacos and pad thai and pork ribs. So you could easily order something off of their appetizer menu, have a drink, and just make a meal of it there. So after about 20 minutes of hanging out at the Nomad Lounge, they called us to be seated, and we were seated in Tiffin's Trek Gallery. There's three dining rooms at Tiffin's. There's the Trek Gallery, there's the Safari Gallery, and the Grand Gallery. Unfortunately, I took zero pictures while I was there. Not a one. I just didn't care about taking any pictures while I was there, so these pictures I'm showing in this video, I just found online. And so like this picture right here, this is where we were seated, but we sat right here by these windows, except that the tables that are right here were turned so that my chair was facing the window, which was a problem. This dining room was really nice though. I liked the like tiger murals that were hanging on the wall, but I just hated where we were sat because literally the sun was just like right in my eyes the entire time. I didn't like it, it was bad. I didn't like it. And just the way the seats were and where the sun was coming in the windows, there was no way around it. I couldn't even lean over or anything to get out of the sun. And then my friend Cynthia, she was sitting with her back to the sun 
and it was still bothering her. So that's just how it was. We did ask to be moved and our waitress was really nice. And she said that as soon as somebody else left, that they would clean the table and they would get us moved over. Um, I guess the theory was if no one else was coming in, I don't really know. But she was like, yeah, as soon as somebody leaves, we'll get the table cleared and we'll move you over, okay? Perfect. But long story short, she wasn't as attentive as I would have liked her to have been. And the people right next to us that were sitting right out of the reach of the sun, their table was completely sunless. You know what I mean. They had left. It had been about 10 minutes. No one had come by to bust the table or anything. So me and Cynthia literally just swapped everything out. We took all of their dirty dishes and everything and put it on our table and put our drinks and appetizer on the other people's table so that we could not sit with the sun in our face the whole time or the sun in my face the whole time. But you know what I mean. And I mean, if you think that's uncouth or whatever, oh well. Moving on. Okay, so with the River of Lights dinner package, you get an appetizer, an entree, a dessert, and a non-alcoholic drink. Because I'm such a picky eater, there was not any appetizers that I was interested in eating at all. But my friend Cynthia went ahead and got the cheese. There was like a cheese, artisan cheese plate or something for an appetizer, and she got that. I, I just didn't eat any of it. I don't like it. I'm just not a big fan of eating like cheese like that. Like, I want my cheese shredded and on something, I guess. So I didn't have any of the artisan cheese platter or whatever it's called. But, I mean, it looked nice. So for my entree, I got the Wagayu strip loin and braised short rib. I think if you look at the menu right now, like I did to, to confirm what I got there, it says Wagayu strip loin and, like, some kind of smoked brisket. That wasn't there when I was there. There was the strip loin and braised short rib. It came with like carrots, purple Peruvian potatoes, and something else that I don't recall. But basically, I just ate the meat and actually did eat the purple Peruvian potatoes, even though at first glance I was like, these are purple potatoes. I don't think I can eat these, but I tasted them and I mean, it's just potato. It tastes like potato. It's purple. That threw me off, and it was kind of weird, but it tasted fine. So I ate my potatoes, and I ate my meat. And I don't do carrots, so those got shoved to the side. I'm trying to remember the bread experience here. I know they brought us bread. I don't recall eating much of it. So it must mean that whatever bread there was, maybe I didn't like it, or I don't know if Cynthia ate the bread with the cheese, and I didn't have any bread. I really don't remember. I have no memory of the bread, so I can't really comment on the bread. Oh well. Okay, at this point, after having eaten my meal, my entree, I was pretty full. And my food was, I mean, it was pretty good. Can't complain about the entree. But I was feeling pretty full, but the dessert automatically came with our dining package. So I ended up getting the South American chocolate ganache. And I think I took like two bites of it because I was already full and I just didn't want any of that. So... I have no help there either. But it looked nice and it kind of tasted good the couple of bites that I had. And I love chocolate. I was not that impressed with whatever it was that I ate. I just remember going, oh, that's okay. But I didn't want to eat the whole thing. Overall, I really like this restaurant because, mostly because of the Nomad Lounge experience beforehand. It was very pleasing to the eye. Visually, the dining room was. I did enjoy my food okay. Um... My waitress, she was really, really nice. And at one point in the beginning, talked to us for a few minutes. I thought she was going to be awesome. Super nice girl, but she was really lax on service. She um, neglected to come refill our drinks, our non-alcoholic drinks, more than once. Um, at one point, something that we asked her to bring, she never even brought. And by the time she realized it, we were like, no, never mind, because now we're just going to eat a little bit of our dessert and leave. So even though she was a really nice girl, I wasn't impressed with her service. But overall, I like Tiffin's. I probably won't eat there again on purpose. I mean, and by that, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind eating there again, but it's not going to be my first choice. I definitely want to go to the Nomad Lounge again. I would easily have an appetizer there 
have a drink there. That was probably the highlight of the entire experience was the Nomad Lounge. But I did like Tiffin's okay. Okay, what about you guys? Who has eaten at Tiffin's or who likes the Nomad Lounge? Let me know in the comments section below. Okay, I've still got two more restaurants to review, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you real soon. The Wagayu strips, strip search, not strip search. There was no strip search, luckily. <laughs>